ladies and men who are deliberating on various vote heads. But Mr. Speaker, allow me in the shortest time that you have allocated me to highlight just a few things. Mr. Speaker, I'm worried a bit about this budget. So worried. Because Mr. Speaker, when President Ruto took power, he said that he was going to reduce the budget of 2022-2023 by 300 billion shillings. That did not happen and instead what we are seeing today is an increase in the budget from the 2022-2023 budget to 2023-2024, an increase of 544 billion shillings, Mr. Speaker. The total budget is rising from 3 trillion 55 billion to a total of 3 trillion 599 billion, Mr. Speaker. That is without considering the debt rollover. Mr. Speaker, if you look at this budget, and it is broken down into total executive expenditure, parliament, judiciary, and other CFS, the financing of this budget is going to be a challenge, Mr. Speaker, because this country is deluding itself that we can raise ordinary revenue from 1 trillion 917 billion in the current financial year to 2 trillion 571 billion in the next financial year. That is an increase of 653 billion shillings, Mr. Speaker. Very unrealistic, very ambitious, likely not to be realized. The total revenue projected to be collected is going to rise from 2.23 trillion to 2.935 trillion. That's an additional 705 billion. Even with the crazy taxation measures, measures that have been proposed in this House, you can still not realize an increase in collection of revenue to the tune of 700 billion in one single financial year. Mr. Speaker, I know that the average increase in revenue collection has been averaging around 300 billion. Now, if we are not going to be able to collect or able to raise the budget, I mean the, 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 the revenue, by 700 billion, what will happen is either the programs will not be implemented or if they have to be implemented, it will be at a cost, meaning we are going to increase the budget deficit from the proposed 635 billion to almost close to a billion shillings. And Mr. Speaker, that is not far-fetched because at the moment, from September 30th, Mr. Speaker, to March 31st of this year, in a period of just six months, the Kenya Kwanzaa government has borrowed 689 billion shillings compared to the similar period when President Uhuru was in power when only 405 billion was raised. So this talk that we hear all the